Where were you when your husband died? Jack Nicholson and Faye Dunaway star in Chinatown on the premiere of the CBS Tuesday night movies at 9, 8 Central and Mountain Time. February is going to be special on CBS with new shows like Baby I'm Back, Celebrity Challenge of the Sexes, Shields and Yarnell. Movies, The Alley Fight, specials, comedy and variety, drama. There's so much happening we had to begin February four days earlier. Fabulous February starts January 28th. Coming on CBS. The president has agreed with Ohio's governor and has declared a state of emergency because of the blizzard. Details on the Toledo 11 News. Oh boy, it's cold up here. So from Whitman Ford and Temperance, you get more than a huge selection of new Fords. More than a new building with bigger, brighter service department. Even more than the lowest prices in town. What could be more than that, you ask? Try a free Florida vacation for the first 100 new car buyers. Four glorious days at Pirates Cove Inn at Daytona Beach. Good till next November. Start the new year right with low prices, great selection, and a free Florida vacation from Whitman Ford on Lewis Avenue in Temperance. I don't have the best hands in the world, my little short stubby fingers, but it has really helped my hands. Dermassage dishwashing liquid with protein helped Mrs. Taylor's dry detergent skin. My hands were much more softer, they weren't as dry, and I was proud of them. Dermassage dishwashing liquid actually relieves the discomfort of dry detergent skin. It's wonderful on dishes. Oh, I've been recommending Dermassage to everybody. WTOL TV, Toledo. Straight from the newsroom, this is Toledo 11 News. Good evening. President Carter has declared that an emergency exists in Ohio because of the blizzard conditions. The declaration makes federal equipment available to the state to help in recovery operations. Governor Rhodes had wanted a disaster declared, but the emergency is one step short of that. In the Toledo area, some 10 inches of snow has fallen, and there's a chance for two more inches by morning. The snow has been driven along by high winds, creating at times a dense white fog and piling up huge drifts in some areas. Power is out in many areas, with repair crews having trouble reaching the equipment down. Roads are hazardous, and even big interstate highways have been closed most of the day. Another Toledo-based Ohio National Guard outfit has been called into duty. The 612th Engineering Battalion has joined the 323rd Military Police Company. Toledo Fire Division crews were answering their calls, but oftentimes had to double back in an attempt to find passable streets. In Michigan, Governor Milliken has declared a state of emergency there because of the blizzard. Many schools, agencies, and businesses will be closed tomorrow. We'll have those for you later in the broadcast. Despite the hardships suffered by many Toledo ones, conditions in areas outside of Toledo often were even worse. Mel Martin has the latest for us. Mel? Jeff, uh, statewide, 175,000 homes are without electricity tonight. About 30 to 50,000 homes in northwest Ohio are out. Outages being reported in Bowling Green, which has also had a water problem. Power problems in rural Erie County, in Tiffin, in Fremont, in Faustoria, in parts of the city of Sandusky. And the picture is not bright for service restoration until sometime tomorrow. Crews are being hampered by drifts, and they are tiring after a rather long day without accomplishing very much. The roads as you know by now are a disaster. At least 1,000 stranded in cars in this area, but those estimates may be low because communications are very, very bad. And in Finley, where Interstate 75, north and south of the city, is impassable, all traffic is stopped, help can't reach motorists, and a private contractor in Hancock County is going to try to open US 224 West to get some of the people on I-75. In Michigan, as Jeff said, the, there is a state of emergency declared. Lenaway and Monroe County, they have declared a red alert. That means no driving other than emergency driving. In Bryan, Ohio, it is the mayor there has ordered no driving except uh, until Saturday noon at the earliest, unless there you are an emergency vehicle. Finally, every snowdrift has a silver lining. A beauty salon operator in Cleveland says that five hardy customers didn't let the 70 mile an hour winds and bitter cold keep them from their appointments. An employee of the salon said they'll do anything to get their hair done, and she went on to say you should have seen them when they got here. After a walk back home in those winds, they probably look pretty lousy too. Oh, Jeff, that's it. Thank you, Mel. Emergency drivers who have spent the day on the roads are beginning to have some problems finding gasoline because the stations are closed. We talked to one such driver this evening. 
How long have you been driving? Oh, since about 4 o'clock this afternoon. What's the gasoline situation, especially as it gets late at night? It's tough. It gets tough. you got to find places. Uh, uh, a lot of gas stations are closed because of the fact that the employees couldn't get in there and pump the gas. Uh, it's tough to find. How much gasoline do you have left? I've got a little less than a half a tank. I'm going to make one more run. Then what? Uh, then I'm going to hope and uh, maybe catch a fire station. The fire stations Penziata referred to were supplying some gasoline to volunteer vehicles that could not find fuel anywhere else. Question, who's drinking light beer? Fact is, Pabst Extra Light gives you more reason than ever. Fact, Pabst Extra Light is the first naturally brewed light beer with half the calories of our regular beer, and that's far less filling. Fact, natural brewing with no artificial ingredients makes it pure beer drinking pleasure. Pabst Extra Light, half the calories, all the taste naturally. And those are the facts of light. Let yourself go to Pizza Hut. Let yourself go say Super wow. Supreme. Wow, would you look at that pizza? There's a super new pizza called Super Supreme. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's got nine super toppings like you've never seen. Can't believe all the stuff in this pizza. <laughs> it's super. Let yourself go say Super Supreme. Let yourself go to Pizza Hut. What's this? It's Ugal Smoker's Tooth Powder. Your daughter says it's the sexy smile that comes in the flat, clumsy, easy to spill can. What would a 15 year old girl want with a sexy smile? I forbid this, don't I? Ugal Smoker's Tooth Powder. If you want whiter teeth badly enough, you'll put up with it. Don't I? Available at all Lane Drug Stores. Stop winter with a hot deal on a new Toyota from the only quality award dealer in the area, Tom Prang Auto Village on Beecher Street in Adrian. Toledo Edison reports making some progress in its battle to restore power in many areas. Some 20,000 Toledoans have been hit by electrical outages. About 6,500 Edison customers to the east and south of Toledo remain without electricity tonight. Edison reported it was able to reach most stricken facilities, with one major exception, a substation three miles south of Perrysburg. The failure there has some 5,500 Perrysburg and Bowling Green customers without electricity. Edison reports drifts up to 12 feet en route to that substation. The power is still out in Waterville, and there are interruptions in service in Clyde, Lucky, Wayne, Genoa, Pemberville, Weston, Tontogany, and Grand Rapids. Edison is still asking stricken residents to unplug major appliances, as Randy Little explains. As you might imagine, telephones were lit up at the service dispatcher's office of Toledo Edison. It's the job of these men to direct those big yellow troubleshooting trucks to fix those downed wires and blown out transformers. The big trouble today, though, getting through drifts to fix the problem. Electrical customers can help out in restoring electricity, oddly enough, by unplugging all appliances that would come on automatically when power is restored, such as freezers or refrigerators. This would prevent any power surge that would develop and possibly cause the feeder to go out again. We're asking people to isolate themselves into one room of their home and uh, shut off the other parts of their house, including uh, pulling the drapes and the blinds. Uh, of course, fireplaces do help keep a, uh, a person warm, and uh, uh, they can use this. Uh, but we do encourage people not to use charcoal, as it will release uh, carbon monoxide gas in the house. Buer says food in a freezer will keep 24 to 48 hours. It's not yet known exactly how long it will take to get service back in some of the more rural areas. The best estimate of that, a day or two. Snowmobiles are being used to carry linemen out to do some troubleshooting. And if you see a downed wire, call Toledo Edison. Let them take care of it to avoid a possible shock. I'm Randy Little, Toledo 11 News, with the Minicam. Downed wires or damage to Edison equipment should be reported to the following phone number, 255-1530-255-1530. The Red Cross has been working all day to ensure aid for stranded motorists. 
and has received aid in return from other motorists. Newsman Jim Proctor has that for us tonight. Jim? Jeff, a request by the Red Cross for four-wheel drive vehicles and snowmobiles has resulted in good response from a number of area residents. More than 100 vehicles were able to make it to Red Cross headquarters in Toledo in response to the afternoon request. For. Well, principally to deliver food to where we have people sheltered. We have uh, various, various centers open that, that we're needing to ship food to. Uh, we're also getting calls to transfer tr uh, medical personnel that need to get to a hospital. We are getting uh, requests for, uh, to take people out to, who can't get out of their homes and uh, we need to take them to someplace else. Either their houses are without power, consequently they're without heat, so they won't need to get out of their homes, so we need to transport them to a shelter. The Red Cross has fed more than a thousand people at just the five shelters in the Toledo area. There are more than 200 people each at the Wallbridge Highway Patrol Post and the Wallbridge Fire Station. Some 300 people are being taken care of at the Reynolds Road Holiday Inn. The Sports Arena and the Perrysburg Holiday Inn are also being used as shelter houses. Many people have called the Red Cross offering the use of their homes to house stranded motorists, but that's causing some problems for the Red Cross. People are creating a slight problem. We're not able to handle individual requests and placing people. We're working on a mass scale right now, and we're asking people to please go to the shelters that have been designated. We thank them very much and hope in the future that if a uh, condition exists where we can place people in individual homes, that they'll offer. But at this time, uh, we're working on a mass scale. The Red Cross is asking for blood donors for tomorrow. The center will be drawing blood from noon to 4 p.m. and again on Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. There's no shortage at this time, but supplies could run low over the weekend. That's all, Jeff. Okay, thank you, Jim. Even in the worst of conditions, there's a little bit of good. We'll show you some in a moment. This is your seat. From it, you can see action. Thrills. Don't miss the International Hockey League's most exciting team. Get your tickets now and get in on Toledo Gold Digger action. Call 693-0777 or get your tickets at the Sports Arena open 9 to 6 Monday through Saturday. Gold Digger Hockey, the fastest game in town. A lot of care goes into A&P's ground beef. It's 100% pure beef. Ground three ways with three different levels of lean. So you always get what you pay for. And we grind it fresh several times a day. It's one of our best sellers. But if a package is not sold within 24 hours, we take it out of the case. At AMP, we pick the best. So you can too. Area hotels and motels are doing a booming business this evening. Many downtown Toledo companies are keeping their employees in the downtown area so that they'll be assured of a workforce tomorrow. The Commodore Perry Motor Inn has all 435 rooms booked, many with several people in a room. Clearville. Uh, we don't have no, no rooms, no nothing left. They can't even find a spare bed or a cot. Well, what are you going to do if somebody comes in right now? Mm, try to help them out, set them someplace up if we can. Uh, do you have any idea how how the situation is, the room situation in Toledo? Is it pretty much filled up? Well, the Holiday Inn downtown is full. Uh, Hillcrest has got a few. I just called there. You're stranded here tonight. Uh, what are you guys doing? Uh, we're just uh, trying to enjoy ourselves. And we all went up and took our shower, and we're just trying to enjoy ourselves now. We're a little bit clean, and that's about it. <laughs> now, you work at Wonder Bread. Did the company put you up, or you guys just get stranded and come over on your own? Uh, the company put us up for the night. We had a few guys that couldn't make it home, and the company put us up for the night. Jim, you look like you're having a pretty good time here. Does your wife know you're here boozing it up while she's probably at home lonely? <laughs> yeah, well, she figures that I'm probably out here having a good time. She's no, she's no fool. <laughs> uh, any problems at home? Have you heard you've been able to get in touch with her yeah, I had one boy sick this morning but he turned out he's all right he just had a little bit of the flu I got three kids who are just driving her crazy but other than that everything's all right are you guys gonna be able to get back and bake the bread while the rest of us sleep well the bread's baked today but we couldn't put it out today so we're gonna try it again tomorrow and maybe Saturday 
And even some Toledo 11 news people and, and others at the station are staying downtown yes. tonight. So we'll staying be here in downtown. the morning. We will be here all night. Yes, I was wondering if at 6 o'clock I should come on and say I've been brought to you by the Jeep Corporation or something because I literally was brought to work in a Four, Jeep. Yeah. Four-wheel drive. That's, That's right. how we all got here. Now, they, they changed their minds about the Traveler's Advisors, didn't they? No, no, the Traveler's Advisors will be posted, but tomorrow. That's what I mean. They the blizzard warnings off. will remain up for tonight, yeah, but uh, put them the Traveler's Advisors will be posted. It still means you're not going to be able to go anywhere because it blowing and drifting is still going to be a problem uh, through tomorrow. The weather report is brought to you tonight by People Savings Association, your family financial planners. In fact, if you're anywhere in the state of Ohio and in Indiana and southeastern Michigan, you're not going to be able to go anywhere tomorrow. Snow and blowing snow is being reported at every station. Uh, at this reporting, there's 17 inches of snow on the ground at Cleveland, 16 inches of snow on the ground at Findlay. We have 14 inches of snow on the ground. Actually, uh, almost 14 and a half inches of snow on the ground. South Bend at this moment is reporting 30 inches of snow on the ground. They have broken their snowfall record for the season already with over 129 inches. Grand Rapids has uh, 21 inches or 26 inches of snow on the ground. They broke a 24-hour snowfall record. Uh, Jackson has 22 inches of snow on the ground. And the blizzard warnings are up for all three states. Storm warnings are out on the lake. Southwest to west winds 50 to 60 knots. Our winds west to 20 25 to 45 miles per hour for tonight. Uh, 22 degrees is the temperature downtown. It's 21 at the airport. So we'll pick 30 miles an hour. And uh, here's the uh the chill index is still 20 below zero or in that range, so it's plenty cold out. If you're going to be outside for any length of time, bundle up. Currently at the airport, 21 degrees. That's a minus 6 Celsius. The dew point 17. Relative humidity is 84%. Uh, the barometer 29.21 and rising. Pluton standard uh, index not available to us today. Sunrise 752. The sun sets at 544. Our high today was 33. The morning low was 8. 9.7 inches of snow officially. The, uh, the snowfall for today, that's since midnight last Last night we had a little more uh, before that and a total of 14 and a half inches on the ground. Here's the comparison with last year. Our temperature uh, today with uh, last year's temperatures and the record low, 16 degrees below zero, set in 1897. And we'll be back to take a look at the national map and the forecast for Toledo after this for People Savings. Hi, I'm Don Edwards and this is Nell Elizabeth. What is more important than your child? Nothing, right? Well, I stopped in at a People's Savings office the other day, and I asked one of the counselors what would happen. If I put $5,000 in a certificate paying 7 and 3 quarters percent interest and left it there for 18 years, or about the time that Nell Elizabeth here would be ready for college, incredible as it may sound, my $5,000 would be worth $20,171.78. Now, let me repeat that. My $5,000 would be worth $20,171.78 at the end of 18 years. What a way to give Nell Elizabeth a start in college, a career, or marriage. Stop in and talk to any one of the counselors at People's Savings and set up the right program for you. Believe me, you won't be sorry. And you'll find out quickly why People's Savings is known as your family financial planner. On the temperature zone map, the finger of cold air is coming our way. There's the 20 degree line. It's going to be very cold over the weekend. Temperatures hovering near zero and highs in the teens. This is the cold air coming our way. The hot spot was in Miami Beach. They reported 71. The surface map now, this large storm, the blizzard of 78, is broken up into two centers. One is uh, still in Lake Huron. The other one is approaching uh, the James Bay area. And because it's so slow to retreat, why we've stayed in the, uh, the uh, blizzard warnings, actually blizzard warnings are up for Wisconsin and Illinois through Indiana, Ohio, uh, Michigan, and even into New York State as a result of this storm. But we do see a, a lessening of the storm through the southwestern sections of Indiana, and this will slowly, very slowly spread over the state of Ohio during the day tomorrow. We'll see the winds gradually diminish as the day progresses as this whole storm system continues its move to the north and east. There's rain and showers along the coastal sections. We will be under the influence of a ridge of Arctic high pressure, and that's going to be very cold for the weekend. Uh, uh, with the snow. So here's how the forecast looks uh, for tonight. The blizzard warnings will remain in effect for tonight. It will be very windy. There will be considerable blowing and drifting snow yet. The low temperature down to five above, and we could see an additional two to four inches of snow by morning. For tomorrow, we'll most likely see traveler's advisories posted. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to be able to get out and drive around. It simply means that visibilities will improve. The winds will still be very strong, and temperatures will be very cold, and there still will be drifting snow causing traveling problems. High tomorrow, 17. Tomorrow night's low down to zero. The extended outlook 
outlook is calling for a continuation of the cold uh, right through Monday and Tuesday, but at least we should get into some sunshine uh, so we can shovel snow slowly as the sun shines. The weather report is brought to you tonight by People's Savings Association, your family financial planners. One thing I did forget to mention, too, the blizzard of 78 is a killer blizzard. There have been four deaths reported already in the state of Ohio. As you say, take it easy, shoveling out. Take it there. easy. Thanks, Joe. Canada's defense minister says there's a 90% chance that debris from a nuclear-powered Soviet satellite is on the ground and emitting extremely dangerous levels of radiation. Canadian and American nuclear emergency specialists are in the area to make a positive identification of the source and the amount of radiation in an area 200 miles west of Baker Lake. Wyoming health officials say the first outbreak of Russian flu in the United States has been confirmed in Cheyenne. They say more than 1,000 students were apparently stricken by the bug in recent weeks. The National Center for Disease Control in Atlanta says health experts had expected the flu this uh, month or next. Assistant Secretary of State Alfred Atherton reportedly will meet with Jordan's uh, King Hussein on Saturday, presumably to report on efforts to reopen Israeli-Egyptian peace talks. After meeting with Israeli officials today, Atherton reported good progress on a draft declaration of peace principles. Egyptian President Sadat urged Arab and African states today to join him in pressing Israel for Mideast concessions. Sadat restated that Israel must accept Palestinian self-determination as a key element of peace. The Senate Foreign Relations Committee has affirmed its plans to send the Panama Canal Treaty to the Senate floor with a recommendation that it be ratified. But the committee said approval of the treaty should be contingent on changes which clarify the future rights of the United States to use and defend the canal. Top Senate staff members of the deadlocked Energy Conference Committee have worked out a proposed compromise which calls for the deregulation of natural gas prices by 1983. It would immediately lift the price ceiling on new gas from the current $1.47 per thousand cubic feet to $2. And the government says it will help finance abortions for poor women who are victims of rape or incest if someone reports the incident to the proper authorities within 60 days. It's blowing up a storm out here, but your Toyota dealer is stopping winter cold. With the hottest deals in town, the heat's on us to sell 3,500 new Toyota cars and trucks in just four days. So we'll be open late tonight and dealing like never before. So come in out of the cold because it's winter stopping. Hot deal shopping time at Toyota. See your local Toyota dealer today for the hottest deal around. The severe cold weather has killed us. We have too many mattresses. So Banner Mattress announces an emergency mattress clearance. We must clear out. 1,000 factory fresh mattresses immediately. For example, our deluxe quilted hotel hospital twin mattress or foundation can be yours for a super low $39. Full size start at only $49. Save on queens and kings too. Hurry, prices will not be lower. Come to Banner Mattress 3342 Monroe open daily till 9, Saturdays till 6, and Sundays 12 to 5. The seafood at Red Lobster weren't so darn good, people might not go through all this. But Red Lobster gives you oceans of good food and terrific service, too, at prices that don't go overboard. That makes it all worthwhile. Red Lobster is where America goes for Well, where would you recommend playing golf these days? Certainly not at the Monroe Street Par 3. We've received scattered reports that the sun is actually shining someplace in the contiguous United 48 states. We know it's shining out in San Diego, where the first round of a PGA golf tournament is being played. Little-known pro Mark File holds a one-shot edge after play today, carting a 66 and taking the lead in the tournament for the first time in his career. Another relative unknown, Jack Spradling, is one shot off the lead. Both golfers had to requalify the tour for bad players here in their career. They're followed by a group of four, Jerry McGee, Marty Fleckman, Bob Eastwood, and Jack Renner. Pre-tournament favorite Tom Watson shot a 72 and a six off the pace. 
Upsets marked the first day of the Women's Triple Crown Match Play Tournament in Palm Springs. In one match, Nancy Lopez upended Judy Rankin 4-2. and two. Jane Blaylock, winner of the event for two of its three years, lost her match to Pat Bradley. The field of 16 will be cut until the final match on Sunday. The pro schedule lost Pittsburgh at Detroit in hockey and Indiana at Cleveland in the NBA, but we have a few. In the National Hockey League, uh, Chicago shut out Cleveland 5-2, Montreal 5, Atlanta 2, Minnesota 2-1 over Buffalo. The Islanders doubled up on Toronto 4-2 and Boston beat Colorado 4-3. In the National Basketball Association, two finals, Washington 135, Chicago 107, New York 112, Kansas City 105. Don't let anyone tell you that success has changed Mark Fidrich. At the recent Detroit Tiger press luncheon, Oris Tabner found the bird still spouting his own brand of logic. Seen of you for the last couple of minutes, you've really gotten serious about this whole game of life, haven't you? Well, life is always serious, but sometimes it gets joking the other way uh, people project life. But I don't know. I've got to be serious. You got a new hairdo. Nah. Well, new to me. I hadn't seen it well, since last year. I here, that's all. I, you know, had to get a cut because I went down a, what do you call it, winter ball this year. And so I had to get a cut to be decent to play. And if I didn't have to, it would have been just as long as last year, if not longer. I'd like to be the 100th guy in the last uh, couple of months to ask you how your knee is and how your shoulder is and how your elbow is. How are they? Oh, they're fine. They're fine. I'm all rehabilitated and all set to go. You know, all, all new parts of me and, you know. I got a tune-up. You have a bionic knee now, do you? Yeah, something like that and <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Seriously, the, the, the no problem they no figure problem. with the doctors say uh, no recurrence, they no. don't think? I've been playing basketball and been doing all right, you know. And I told him I was playing basketball and Dr. Mitchell didn't mind. He said, that's good, get your reflexes back and things like that, you know, which is nice. Now, we had heard, uh, I think, during last season that Mark Fidrich had decided that he was going to get rid of all these interviews and not talk to anybody anymore, and the wide-eyed wonder boy of a couple of years ago was gone, and now he was a big, no, serious no. major league ball player. Is that true? No, I, you, you put it the wrong way when you were making that statement there. It wasn't that I was, you know, get rid of with the media. It's just that I was going to cut it down, you know, because I wanted some time for myself. I said, you know, life is going by me, and I'm not seeing my life, you know. I'm losing my life, and I didn't want to lose my life. I was happy to hear that, as a matter of fact, because you're making a career out of this, doing interviews and things. Yeah, that's what it's, you know, started to get like, and I just said, hey, people need life, you know. I need to, you know, go Sunday, go someplace on Sunday instead of, you know, trying to do interviews, you know what I mean? Not trying. One, they're making you do them. <laughs> the bottom line, of course, is Major League Baseball, and it's time to get back down to camp, and uh, you're all ready then. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm just like last year, just sitting, waiting for April to start. Shaping up to a real Casey Stengel fourth seed, Advitas Gerolitis was upset in the third round of the U.S. Pro Indoor Tennis Tournament at Philadelphia. Gerolitis was beaten in straight sets by his double partner, Sandy Meyer. Other third round winners were Brian Gottfried, Wojtek Fibak, and Raul Ramirez. Of course, it's an indoor tennis tournament at Philadelphia. Who of course believe it otherwise? Be. I know. It's the only place to play. <laughs> I couldn't even get to mine this morning. I nope. didn't even think about it. We'll be back with all the business closings in just a moment. The fire alarm. I don't smell anything. Doesn't matter. Come on. When seconds count, Sunbeam's fast response could make the difference. The Centurion Smoke Alarm. Sunbeam quality. Don't settle for less. Available at Janney's Ace Hardware and at Temperance Ace Hardware. For food and atmosphere like this, there's really just one place. The Botine Restaurant in Madrid, Spain. There's really just one place for beer, too. That one and only Genesee Brewery, where they brew Tim Malloy's favorite beer, Genesee. I wish I could get Genesee here. Just like you have to go to Spain for the specialties of Botine Restaurant, you have to be in one place here in Genesee country for beer. Genesee Beer, our one brewery makes it best. There are a lot of closings in the Toledo area tomorrow. Here are the businesses which have notified us so far.
for obvious reasons, I want to mention the Toledo Society for the Blind will be closed. For all of you wondering, where are all the school closings? They'll be coming up in just a moment. We'll run them in what we call a crawl across the bottom of your screen during the CBS Late Movie in just a minute or two, which we are going to join in progress, by the way. And before we leave, I just wanted to uh, say nice work to Merle Kackenmeister and Dennis Dixon, who are snowed in out at Toledo Express Airport and are providing us with uh, all the information on the weather. And we have no word yet on what's going to happen with the Gold Digger game with Port Huron, or Fort Wayne, I should say, tomorrow. Chances are very doubtful. Indiana has been closed by the storm, so the uh, comments may not get here. No word definitely, though. We'll have it at 6. Thank you for joining us tonight. The next regularly scheduled newscast from the newsroom will be tomorrow at noon. Shop Center this week during Dollar Days and save on G&W Sugar. The five-pound bag, just 79 cents. Limit one with coupon available in our mailer or at store. Shop Center and save. Stop winter with a hot deal on a new Toyota from the only quality award dealer in the area. Tom Prang Auto Village on Beecher Street in Adrian. Shop Walker's store-wide living room sale. Sofas, sleepers, love seats, and sets in stock and custom orders, too. At savings up to $211, now at Walker's, bringing the furniture world to you at savings. The Bobo, Friday at 3.30. After this syndicate, we could have had the greatest variety act in the world. Instead, we have the greatest magic act in the world.